Get your rubber boot. I hope you know that that's the top. And you're gonna stretch those rubber boot around the lip. When putting the boot on, try not to use any sharp tools because you don't wanna poke a hole in this. Once it's on and secure, it's time to put the shifter on. And the boot will go around that lip you see right there and it'll be secure. To get it up on the lip, you get it on there, and I'm using a very dull screwdriver to just gently push it up. When it's pushed up, it'll be around the lip just like that. It looks really scummy right now because it has a lot of that root lubricating oil on it. With it all put together, we're gonna put it back into the car. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that by now. With the shaft lubricated, you can put the lever into the lower rotating assembly for the final time. With your lower rotating assembly into the shift lever and your set screw inserted, we're going to set it down for the final time. If you've left the nut alone, hand tighten it, it's nice and easy. Then put in your Allen key so that it stays still. And then take in your open ended wrench and on the nut, tighten it down. That sets the screw and you'll be good to go. Now you just need to double check it by rotating it around below and making sure that the rotating assembly still rotates in the selector rod. Remember, this has to have enough play so that it can rotate and do its job. If you're wondering if it's too tight or not, you can go below and actually move the lower rotating assembly. It should have a little slop up and down. If it has a little bit, you know that it's good enough. If you find that it is too tight, take the Allen key and back it off just a quarter turn. That should do the trick. Double check it and use your instructions from CAE to check yourself so that you don't cause any damage to your shifter. Remember, it has to rotate. All right, everybody. It's installed, the boot's on. It works. Once you finish the installation, your shifter works perfectly. You don't have any clearance issues and you know it's staying down. It's time to install your safety wire. Once the wire is neatly wrapped around the shifter and through the hole, and you have plenty of wire left, take the ends, cross them, and then begin to wrap them and twist them together. With the shifter in exactly where we want it, we're to the last step. We have to modify the center console so that we can fit the shifter and the console in. So you can take note that you have a mounting hole here and here. We go to the center console piece and we can see that there's two tabs on either side of the console that mounts to those bracket pieces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a caliper and measure from this hole in the same plane over to the shifter and transfer that measurement from this hole on the center console where it mounts over into this section of the center console piece. Then the measurement from this mounting hole to the shifter and transfer that measurement from this hole onto the center console. With those marks, we'll be able to know how much distance and where it needs to start, and we'll cut that section out of the center console, and then we'll test fit it there. So I transfer those measurements on, so I can buzz this out as much as I need. If I have to, I can always take a little more out. I was pretty conservative with it. 
I'm doing this the old fashioned way, just using a handheld hacksaw. As you cut out, you're gonna find that you're gonna need to open it up on the inside in order to install it. Your first cuts will have clearance, but you won't be able to put the console in. You have to take it all the way up to the mount. As you trim, you're most likely gonna end up something like this to get it installed. No, you don't need as much space to have it in there, but to install it with the shifter, you're gonna to have to do a lot more cutting and trimming. And this was our bare minimum. With it trimmed out, start installing the center console. This one inserts from the back and screws in right there. Plug all your wires back in. You'll install it. Everything should line up. You have room for your shifter. And you'll have wires coming out the top that you'll plug in with the rest of the console. Next, once that's installed, measure and trim this. Set it in and bolt it down. Like and subscribe.